Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel if you are new here and welcome back if you are not new here. Thank you all so much for coming. Don't forget to hit that big red button down below and that tiny little bell just beside it so that you get notified every time I upload videos like this one. So today, oh by the way, you can call me Charlie. That was my name that just came up just in case you, you were curious. <laughs> yeah. And today we are going to do the February plan with me and we're going to talk about how organization is overrated because, you know, I'm rebelling against the system. I am posting my February bullet journal video on the 12th of February, 12 days after February has started. Wow, what a rebel. I am so rebellious. <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, you talked, I answered, and so today's bullet journal spread is going to be panda bears, and we're not going to start off by drawing panda bears, we're going to start off by making a stamp, decorating a page and putting a stamp on a page, because I love this stamp, someone gave it to me on an envelope one day, and I was like, okay, love the envelope, goodbye, and I kept the stamp, because I wanted to use it. <laughs> also. Just a little tidbit while I'm drawing my bamboo stalks. I also want it. I have a I have a mug. I have a mug that has panda bears on it. And I was so excited to use it for this video. I was like, I'm gonna drink my fancy tea and I'm going to do my panda bullet journal with my panda bear mug. And I totally forgot. So just in case y'all wanted to share the love. Um, this is what my mug looks like <laughs> and also Let's just ignore the fact that I didn't use a ruler for these bamboo shoots I do not like to tell my bamboo shoots what they have to be when they grow up, which is why I was Not using a ruler Also, it may have had something to do with the fact that my ruler was about just out of arm's reach away from me and that's way too much exercise in a day. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that just sounded so sad coming out of my mouth. I swear, I love exercise. Go out and exercise your butt off because exercising is fun. But yeah, so that is why some of my bamboo shoots are wavy because they just want to dance to the, their own groove. They want to rebel against the organizational system. <laughs> and yeah. You also notice I have a bunch of different green pens because who doesn't like green pens? And also I realized that I have a lot of green supplies, okay? I love art. Art is something that I do every day and recently I've talked to people and seen people talk about how art supplies stresses them out because just like everything else new in the world, art supplies are literally like phones and technology, a new type of utensil comes out every single year and it just makes you want to buy it but I promise you this that everything I'm using in this video I literally use all the time like literally I use these pens to write in my bullet journal and I use them to write notes and I use them to write lesson plans for work and I use them to mark things and I use them to to put in my ear, to over my, like between my ear and my head to make me look all artsy jokes. I don't really do that because I don't know. I just have never done it. Okay. <laughs> Not that you needed to know that, but there you go. And I realized that when I put this stamp down that it lacked a lot of contrast, especially when I start drawing leaves on the bamboo. So then I had this whole like internal conflict about whether or not I should outline the stamp and what I ended up doing was adding a drop shadow because y'all know I love drop shadows aka I put a drop shadow on anything that I think needs a little pizzazz. <laughs> I don't actually know if I pulled it off or not. It looked better than it does on camera. But yeah. Oh, and because we'll, while we're at it, you know, even though this is a bullet journal video, this is also like a video where I talk about my wrap ups and my coming ups <laughs> so yeah tell me how your january went tell me how your february is going because i feel like that month just flew by i'm talking about january not february by the way yeah i feel like january just flew by and suddenly we're in february and it's like oh my gosh now it's valentine's day happy valentine's day y'all what are y'all doing for valentine's day 
I am drawing bamboo shoots. <laughs> and I will be at home writing because I write in case you didn't know this and you are new, but this is a writing channel. So yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so January went by really quickly. Project Book, which is a project I started in NaNoWriMo, I spent the last two months literally working with critique partners, writing and stuff like that. And let me just tell you, I am a far, 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 far distance away from the finish line for this book. However, however, Project Redemption, I have some vlogs on that, so I will link them in the bio. I am in the beta reading process now. I am getting ready to query this project next month because I found out about PitMad and I've heard a bunch about like Pitch Wars and PitMad and like Mentor Mentee Match, I think. Is that what it's called? And like all these other different names. And so something in my head was like, you know what? This could be a thing. This could be you could join Twitter and you could participate in PitMad. So, you know, sometimes you just have to follow your gut. So I made a Twitter. I'm Charlie Writer on Twitter now. I'm glad to announce that I made my account on February the 2nd or 3rd. I honestly don't remember because the month has flown by. <laughs> but yeah, follow me over there. I'm Charlie, C-H-A-R-L-I-E-E. -E, Writer, W-R-I-T-E-R. -E Can I just tell you that I had to practice that for a li little bit? The first time I recorded this voiceover, I literally said, I literally spelt out Charlotte <laughs> with like three E's. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to query Project Redemption. I am... In the process of beta reading and my beta readers are so fantastic if you're watching this video thank you so much for volunteering to beta read for me all my readers have told me that they can get my edits back in at the most a month which gives me enough time to literally go through make all the changes and stuff like that i don't plan on rewriting the book at all which kind of gives me that leeway for that easy turnover but you know what I kind of go with the flow so if we don't end up meeting that pitch mad pit mad pit mad goals it's fine it's whatever my goal for 2021 was to query so if it doesn't happen a month from when I made those goals it is totally fine because I have another 10 months to go I say 10 because it's February I'm just going to keep on saying it's February until that sticks inside my head because it does not feel like February. But yeah, <laughs> so that's how it's going. If you are curious and want to know what this month is looking for right now, for me that is, um, definitely comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up because I am going to be writing my synopsis. I'm going to be writing my query letter and I'm going to be writing my pitch all before the month is over and that is because I have been told that that is what you do when you want to pitch your book. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm so original, right? Anyways, now that we have finally left that long, long <laughs> cover page, we are going to move on to my jot notes page where I just added a ran bunch of random bamboo stalks with a highlighter because your girl has to have those highlights, you know, you know? <laughs> and also, um, I just kind of like the contrast between the cover page and my jot notes page. If you don't know what a jot notes page is, basically it's a page where I just leave blank to do whatever I want with in the future because sometimes I want to track things and sometimes I don't. I am a very loosey goosey type of person. I am a plant star, so this is my in-between. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah I just really like the contrast between colors and designs of bamboo and you will see later on that I do go back to 
this same type of bamboo shoot. So now we are getting into my quote page along with my playlist page and this quote page, okay. <laughs> so it's not my favorite quote page just because it's all the same font except for the eye which kind of looks like it has alligator teeth and it's definitely not old and vintagey or beautiful looking, but hey, I like the quote. The quote is from Project Book, not Project Redemption, which is the project I am querying next month, but you know, <laughs> you know, you know. Anyways, so definitely go check out my vlogs about Project Book because stuff goes down. <laughs> and for my playlist page, you know, your girl likes to have music. Drop down any music recommendations if you'll have them. I love collecting all my songs onto my like papers and one day I hope to make a tape. A tape of all my favorite songs. And I'm not talking about like a tape as in a USB, yo. I'm talking about Walkman. Let's go old school. Let's go vintage here, Walkman. And I really liked the bamboo that I did on the previous page, well not the previous quote page, but like the page before that, so the previous page to the quote page. I don't know why I said it like that, but I really liked the way I did bamboo stalks like that, so I just added in some highlight colors, and I wanted to add a little bit more color to my overall spread, so I drew in these branches because I mean, even though pandas like bamboo, they do other things. <laughs> Have you seen those cute little videos of like pandas swinging on like the playscapes and things? Ugh, they're so cute. Anyways, now we're doing the calendar spread and it's just, it's a plain calendar spread. I like my calendar spreads to be not too jazzy because I just need enough space to write down what's due when and when I have to do things by and if I have any appointments, etc, etc. I think y'all can relate. Also, oh my gosh, I forgot to say this. Y'all are amazing. I hit 200 subscribers. Yo, yo, yo. Thank y'all so much for that. Oh my gosh. I'm like heart eyes to every single person who subscribed to me. Thank you so much. We literally hit 200 subscribers overnight. I was sitting in my class trying to focus on the lecture and my phone's like blowing up with all these new subscribers. So thank y'all so much. Oh my gosh, does this mean I need to do another challenge video? If you have a challenge that you want to see me do, comment down below. I'm thinking something about like making, uh, adding onto my subscriber story with maybe slogans or something like that. But you know, I'm also thinking of waking up at 5 a.m. because I hate waking up early. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But you know, if that's something you wanna see, early morning Charlotte, that's me, yay. So by now you probably have already seen that I have already laid out the month, the weeks, not the weeks, oh my gosh, the days. <laughs> I've already laid out the days in the highlight colors so that I know how much space I have to draw my panda bears. And fun fact, I actually did this for the next three weeks of February because I've never drawn a panda bear before. And if we're being a little vulnerable right now, I was really nervous about drawing panda bears for the first time on screen. So I actually colored and drew my panda bears for the second and third week of February before I did the first week and my calendar spread and that's purely because I didn't want my panda bears to turn into monster blobs on real video feed <laughs> but I swear that even though this panda bear looks kind of like a monster and looks kind of like disgusting he gets a little cuter marginally cuter so ugly that he's cute and you know what I even named him in fact, I named all my panda bears because we got to give them personality and, you know, once they have a name, you got to keep them. I think that's the rule when you take in pets off the street. I know my drawing is not a pet, but for the sake of this bullet journal video, my panda bear is my pet. I have to care and nature and nurture 
my pen a bear. Bullet journal spread. By journaling in it every single day. Yes, see that totally makes sense. Totally, totally makes sense. <laughs> and I use ink to color in my panda bears because I'm not about to waste my expensive pen ink because that's expensive. But the bad side is it takes forever to dry. So if you see me excessively fanning the paper, I think for some reason that that's going to dry my ink so that I can continue coloring in more drawings with ink. So that is what I'm doing there. And I also decided just to add in some brown kind of drawing details of my tree branches so that my stumps don't look too ugly and don't look like mistakes on my part. And I think it adds some color. I also did this on my playlist page. So yeah. Oh, and you know what? This is going to be my last spread in this journal. Whoa, can you believe that the months flew by that quickly? So yeah, what am I gonna do next month? Well, I asked my friends over on Instagram, go follow me over there, I'm actually right with me, and they told me that they wanted to see a traveler's notebook bullet journal. So that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> that's gonna be really interesting because, fun fact, I'm not new to bullet journaling. I have bullet journaled for years at this point, and the first ever bullet journal that I did was in a traveler's notebook, and it didn't turn out so well. At least one of the first spreads I did. I moved around before I figured out what size I liked the best and what my layers were that I enjoyed the most and stuff like that. But yeah, the traveler's notebook bullet journal was just kind of a mess, and now that I'm re doing like a traveler's notebook spread years later. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see how my style's changed, if I like it any better. Sometimes, you know, you, know, you just gotta give things a second chance. So yeah, I'm totally pumped for my March bullet journal spread. And if you are interested, you know, I have this challenge, mini bullet journal challenge going on where every month is going to be an animal. So that is why January was a hippo and February was a panda bear. If you are interested in giving me suggestions for my March bullet journal, I will gladly take some because otherwise I'm leaning toward an octopus <laughs> or I don't know, some, some other random animal. But yeah, if you want to give me a random animal, I'd totally be down for that. And I would like to also take this time to acknowledge the fact that this is a 20 minute bullet journal video and my last one was three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, cool fact, I don't actually know if this is cool or just really lame, but whatever. Every bullet journal video that I have uploaded thus far has been filmed, edited, blah, 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 all differently. All differently. So, you know, we're testing things out. These are new waters and yeah. I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that this is a full 20 minute video and so the voiceover is kind of all over the place. Granted, that is because I do my wrap ups and my coming ups all in the same video as my actual bullet journaling thing. And that's just because as much as I love watching my face talk for 10 minutes about my goals and stuff, um, I also love watching me bullet journal especially when i'm putting the eyes on these little panda bears they kind of make them look like ghosts <laughs> and i just love that it's so cute i added like black irises in the middle of their pupils and it made them look so scary so we're just gonna stick to the like white pupiled ghost bears isn't that cute the moment has arrived that y'all have been waiting for, the final February bullet journal flip through. I adore the contrast between the left and right pages of the first four spreads. I don't know, there's just something about it that I like to look at. <laughs> and you can see on the playlist page that I did add in those brown cute little details. As we continue, I shall introduce you to the new panda bears in residence. First up, we have Lillian. Then we have Carter. And he loves to climb trees. And then we have Marissa. And Marissa has not had her branches colored in yet. And that's totally fine. We'll get to that on the day of 
procrastination, right? And finally, we have Piper. So if you're curious to know more about where those panda bears got their names, well, people commented and told me those were their favorite names. So now they are pandas in residence. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Friday. And I hope you can come along on my writing journey, reading journey, you know, journey of all sorts and shapes and sizes. And I hope to accompany you along on yours. Thank you all so much. Bye.